Well, hey guys. Um, today we're here back with Ernie. He's a he's a very uh, he loves pickleball and he wants to help other people enjoy pickleball. So we're collaborating today again. We've done you know different series for the shoulder. We've the, we've done the series for the knee, and today we're gonna focus on the low back. So we're gonna be doing some exercises today, kind of a warm-up exercise for the low back, and then we'll get into a little bit of a strength training program, and then we'll talk about some other uh, issues and, and tips that you can do to help with your low back. So, so first off, let's start with that stretch that we were talking about, Ernie. Go to lay on your right side. Perfect. So this is one of my favorite exercises, and it's probably all over uh, YouTube and whatnot, but this is a great stretch for your low back, your hips. So this top knee will be forward like so, the bottom knee will be bent, flexed like so, and you're going to try your best, it's going to be hard, try your best to bring your knee back like so, yep, so he feels a stretch right here in the right quad, and probably a little bit in the, in the left glute right here, and the low back. So once you're here, you can actually turn your shoulders this way, and this will get the low back a little bit more right here. So. If you can't grab your ankle, which is a possibility, it's okay. You can grab a strap or grab something to hook around your ankle and just pull up like so. And you want to hold this for at least 30 seconds, a minute. If you enjoy the stretch, hold it for two minutes. Studies show that if you can hold it for about two minutes, it allows you to relax, allows you to stretch out. Okay? So one set of one minute holds here. All right, let's just switch sides and do the other side. Perfect. So. Lay on the side, top knee is in front, bottom knee is behind. Ooh. Trying to, <laughs> it's a little, a little tighter on this side. Yeah, you might need maybe. someone to, there you go, he, got, he got grabbed the shoe here. So he's pulling it back like so. Good. Same thing about a minute or two minute holds here. So that's like that. Perfect. So let's say your back is just feeling tight, you can relax. Let's say your back is feeling tight and you don't have a massage device or whatnot. You can actually also use, you know, a tennis ball or just a baseball. So go and lean your back. So this is assuming you have a, a muscle issue that's just tight and you're feeling it on, on the low backs right here. So you're gonna use the tennis ball. Go and roll towards me a little bit. Put it where the spot is and just roll over the ball. That way it can help give it some form of massage, get more circulation and relaxation prior to your workout here. So you can roll side to side. You can roll a little bit up and down. Or you can just lay on it and just take deep breaths for at least a minute. Like so. Perfect. So this is can, kind of warms up the area. It helps relax the area and whatnot. And you can, of course, do it on both sides. Okay, perfect. If you're, again, if you're more of the glutton for punishment, you can try a softball, which is a little bigger, a little harder. All right. So you have, you stretched out your legs. Your muscles are relaxed in the back. So now we're going to engage and activate the glutes. So you can grab these bands, of course, on Amazon or anywhere. Um, so go and throw these on uh, the lower thighs. Okay, perfect. So while he's putting that on, I'll talk about why people tend to have low back pain. There's many reasons. And of course, consult your doctor um, or physical therapist prior to doing any kind of exercise. But the main uh, issues that we see in athletics, um, whether you're 14 or 84, is people tend to overuse their back muscles. They tend to not know how to use their glute muscles and their core muscles, so they tend to overuse their back muscles. So mm. that's why we stretch out the legs, we relax those back muscles with the, with the ball or massage, and now we have to engage these muscles and train your brain to use your core muscles and your glute muscles. So go ahead and facing that way, turn that way. So we talked about this for knee pain relief and whatnot, but this is, the glutes are such a powerful muscle and it helps control and alleviate a lot of issues uh, in your spine or also in your legs. So we're going to review this exercise here. So the first step is you're on your side, feet are together, flex your core muscles, and try to lift this knee up as high as you can without rolling your body back. You should feel your glute muscles back here, right? So as you're first starting out, try to hold it for about 30 seconds, maybe up to about a minute. Good, hold that. Again, you're retraining your body. So it's not just a workout. It's you're learning and training yourself to fire your glutes more to turning that dial up and turning down the dial of your quads and your back muscles. So it's a, it's a teeter-totter effect here. So, all right, good. Yep, so you want to feel there. And again, 30 seconds, about a minute. So let's switch sides. 
There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Another 30 seconds to about a minute. And if you're trying to do this at home, you can definitely just pause the video, do it right here, uh, the exercise, of course, and then try to do about three sets of 30 seconds to about a minute each side and try to hold it. Three sets, huh? All right, <laughs> three sets, yep. Okay, so let's do the next one. Go ahead and go on your hands and knees. This is a fire hydrant exercise. Again, these are not complicated. Um, they're very, uh, very powerful, though. So flex your core muscles first. Extend your left knee backwards and out. Uh huh. A little bit more outward as well. Keep the knee bent. Yep. Go and keep your knee bent like that. Right? Yep. And then twist it outward. There we go, right there. So you should feel your core muscles working right there. Uh -huh. You should feel your glutes right here. Uh -huh. Perfect. And this also actually helps your shoulder blade stability as well. Perfect. Same. Just hold it. We're going to hold it for another same count, about a 30 second count. Or if you can do more, do a minute. And we're doing in both glutes. Exactly, because you're stabilizing one glute mm. and you're also engaging this glute here. Oh wow. And three sets of up to one minute, both sides. It's gonna be pretty challenging as you hold it and keep keep that mental focus to the glute muscles and the core muscles. I'll right, go and switch sides. Ooh. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Yep, so backwards, outwards, and a twist. Perfect. Oh yeah. All right, feeling the burn. Perfect. Again, mm -hmm. three sets of about 30 seconds, about a minute. All right, go and take a break. Now let's stand up now. Okay, perfect. So let's say now you're you're ready to be more athletic, right? Be be on your feet. So the first step is just trying to squat and just get comfortable squatting. A lot of people squat with their knees. So I'm going to step back actually on this platform here, so we have more room. Perfect. So most people tend to squat with their knees and keep your torso upright. So we're training you to really focus on the glutes. So you have to hinge and lean. Okay. Perfect. Like that. The band is here. You want to extra, uh, stretch the band out and now you should feel your glute muscles. Perfect. Cool. So now I shouldn't be so upright with my torso then, huh? Right. Because the glutes, the way they work is they work better when you're leaning forward, leaning forward. versus upright. When you're oh, upright, okay. you tend to overload your knees, as we talked okay. about in the other video. Yeah. Of course, the balance is if you have low back pain and you bend too far forward, you're going to want to use your back, right? Yeah. So the core muscles are vitally important. So keep some tension in the core okay. as you're squatting. Ooh, I can feel that in the glute though right there. Perfect. Good. Come on, stand back up. All right. Ooh. So then the next set, the next one you can hold again for about a minute or so. 30 seconds to a minute. Just one set. Just one set. Yeah, just one set. Perfect. So next is we're going to wrap it out. We're going to learn how to hinge. Okay? So just squat, flex the glute, and then stand back up. So just simple movements like so. Yep. Where you're hinging at the hip. Good. It looks very simple, but it's very powerful, very effective. So really bend at the hips and flex your glutes to power yourself up. As I mentioned before, most people get into trouble because they use their back muscles to stand up. They tend to stand up with their back. Oh, okay. So we're training you to stand up with your glutes. Oh and yeah, okay, there you go. There it is, yep. So it'll take some time to break this habit um, or create a new one. But then, really, In the first squat I did, I felt it in my knee, so I felt a little bit of tension, but then after I hinged in my hip, right. I, I don't feel it in my knee at all. Exactly. Ernie was saying he felt a little bit of pressure in the, in the first few squats, but then he hinged and he's using his glutes now, and the pressure from his knees is now uh, yeah. less. Perfect, good, and relax. Yeah, I feel that. Oh. Okay, perfect. So obviously athletics is not just one plane, you have to move sideways. So another movement that I would recommend is just a side step, side step. So let's mm -hmm. try that. Good, so same form, good, step, and step. Make sure your knees are staying outward, so your glutes are engaged. Good, perfect. And the whole time, your core needs to be engaged, your glutes needs to be engaged, if you're trying to feel your low back, just take a break. If you're trying to feel any pressure in your knees, take a break as well. Go ahead and reset. Okay. And, uh, exactly. So I would aim to do about, start with 10 steps to each side. Okay. And about three to four sets of that. Okay. Okay? okay. All right, perfect. Go ahead and take the band off. Yeah, you're feeling the glutes now. Mm -hmm. Now the last one, this is more advanced, but we have a box here. So you can use a chair or whatnot. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you're going to put one foot on top of that one. And so you've been training two legs. Now we have to train one leg. Most athletes don't focus on the one leg, and a lot of athletics is actually on one leg. So 
If you need a, if you have difficulty with balance, go and hold on to a chair or a stick or a pole. But the goal is the same mechanics, hinge at the hips and stand up. So really fo uh, forcing your glutes to fire and to support you on the way up. So try it out. Okay, perfect, like that, yep. Foot straight, knees straight. Okay, this is difficult. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna get the same hinge, really flex your glutes and then power up. Good. Oh. Should be no pain in the knees, it should be glutes and quads. Good. And this is also an ankle balancing exercise too. So if you're a beginner, start with two sets of maybe around 10 to 15. If you're more advanced, you can actually do four sets of 10 to 15. You can add a weight even. Um, so try that out. Oh. All right, switch sides. Perfect. Great. All right. So while Ernie's doing his last set, let's do five, just to kind of show the, so to show the audience. Again, just to recap, low back pain is very common. The number one reason people have low back pain is of course overuse of the back muscles. We're sitting all day, we're bending and using the wrong muscles. So we want to first off try to relax your muscles through massage as we saw in the beginning with the tennis ball. And then you want to stretch your legs. The more flexible your legs are, the less pulling there is on the low back. Secondly, you want to strengthen, yeah. <laughs> Secondly, you want to strengthen the muscles that should be working, that should be helping you when you're sitting, which is your core muscles. Uh, should be helping you with squatting and running, which should be your core and glute muscles. So focusing on these exercises just now um, should at least get you started in the right direction. Number one thing, definitely get evaluated first. These are just generic exercises. Um, if you're having pretty severe low back pain, it's going down your leg. Go see a physical therapist, go see your uh, primary care physician to get evaluated. Um, but for the most part, most of these pain issues, low back, anything, they're correctable. There's always hope. Just get a consultation, make sure you talk to the right person, and they'll get you on the right plan.